There we go. Woo-wee! <laughs> okay, my name is Carlotta and I'm 58 years old and I'm a Spanish interpreter. Gotcha. And uh, why are you here today? Tell us why you're here. Well, I was in a car accident. I was um, uh, rear-ended um, and I was pushed in front of a car, of another car. Hit really hard. It was, yeah, it was uh, really... Yeah. She couldn't take her car home. She had to take the bus home, I think, or something. Right. right? Something I like had yeah. to take my I just remember the that bus. right now. Yes. Gotcha. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, where is your pain? Where Where is your pain? Well, my pain is in my neck. Um, Especially my neck and my back, mid back and low back. How has life changed since the accident? How has is it? Has things gotten worse? It's like hard to sleep, hard to work. Any change in things that well, were normal before? Definitely, things have gotten worse because I'm having um, nightmares. I mean, I I remember the accident. I have. Oh wow! Okay back flashes yep. 25 years ago yes yeah, 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 yeah. and i went to see a chiropractor and he said you have fibromyalgia and i didn't know anything about fibromyalgia i didn't even know that term existed exactly. so i started mm, doing research and i um do you think you have it with the research definitely doctors uh, always tell me that they cannot treat it ibs has been a very um it's been very difficult for me to deal with this condition. I'm gluten-free and I don't eat desserts or pastries, things that I love to eat. Difficulty sleeping, I couldn't, um, I wake up at nights and uh, it's, it's, it, I was diagnosed with sleep apnea. Sleep apnea. I've taken tramadol. And okay, I've so taken, drugs, yeah. I have Back like this. Very frustrated. I bet it is. And if you see her face right now, what you can't see, she's almost crying because how much pain is this? It's probably a nine. A nine. Her knees and her back. Tell us how much pain in both. Uh, my back's probably a eight. My knees are probably a ten. Okay, here we got Carlotta's x rays. Three millimeter right imbalance and five degree curve. Here we have a 20. Two millimeter left imbalance and irritable bowel syndrome. Here we have three quarters atlas square, reverse curve, and C5, C6 arthritis, pretty bad. Thoracic arthritis, pretty significant, and anterior listhesis of L4. Two Ten. weeks, about two weeks, maybe two weeks. Mm -hmm. five or six times, right? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. She's having trouble relaxing, and so, and trouble uh, with her um, notes and doing all her laps. So I'm gonna kind of push her a little bit here. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. She's seen some improvement and not as much as I'd like. I'm gonna challenge her with this adjustment. I usually don't do this yet, but I wanna see how she does. Maybe this will kind of wake her body up to do more change. So I'm gonna adjust you and she's sweating right now. <laughs> she liked that, but she's sweating, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna lean here to the right here. Just gonna let your head fall to the right. Okay. I'm gonna adjust her in the chair like that. How is that different than laying down? Better, worse, same, or are you just scary? All worse. right. Worse? Gotcha. What's worse about it? More painful or just scary? It's more painful. More painful? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. We got one more side. I'm gonna take our time on this side. She's gonna be nervous here with us, because if it is painful, it's nervous. Relax your shoulders. There you go. See how tight our shoulders are? That is part of her problem here, guys. Get these things relaxed. Good. And then you see how I keep trying to re reposition her head? It's just a little shy of uh, four weeks. And so, uh, Carlotta, why don't you tell them what's going on and your experience here so far? Well, my experiences have been great. I've been feeling very good. I've been feeling amazing. My pain level is down to three level, and I feel amazing. I um, can do a lot of things that I couldn't do before. Can you tell us, last week uh, we talked about fibromyalgia. You said this, you go, my fibromyalgia pain is from was here, used to be here, and it's here now. What is that? Yes, my fibromyalgia pain was like a level 
10 and now it's down to level four. Gotcha. Okay. And so what constitutes those levels? What are you grading that on? You're grading overall pain, my emotions. What, how do you determine that? I think it's a little bit of everything. It's my emotions, um, my pain level. It's a little bit of everything. Right. So where are we all with your neck pain from the auto accident? I would say from nine, now it's down to a five. Gotcha. So it is improving still, right? It is. It is improving, yes. Gotcha. Now, uh, tell us about your sleep. How's your sleep going? Well, my sleep is much better, has improved a lot. Uh, I had nights that my sleep was getting worse and worse, but now it's... Consistently getting better. Consistently getting better. Uh, she had this realization that she had almost no pain on this walk. It's the first time she had no pain. What did you do to change wa that walk and made it better? What are the two things you did? Well, first of all, I start. I started walking uh, with my head straight, not looking down. Because you used to look at the ground all the time, right? Right. I always, so she goes, I go, I didn't realize how much I looked at the ground yeah. before. Do, looking at the ground all the time now, my head is straight up. I don't, I'm not looking down. And also, I'm blocking anything that bothers me around. So it doesn't affect my emotions. She used to listen to everybody's conversation and think about other things. Now she just blocks it all out and, and focuses on herself and right. walking. Oh, my IBS is much better. I feel I'm not I'm not constipated or I'm not getting diarrhea. Anymore. Not like you used to. Not like I used to. Good, good. Much better. Good. And so, how much better is that? Twenty percent, forty percent, fifty percent? I would say. 40%. Gotcha. How about uh, your left knee that you've had pain with forever? That knee, my God, it has improved so much. I say that uh, it's down to uh, 20%. The anxiety, how much anxiety? How's that changed? My anxiety levels are way down. I would say almost gone, not yet, but, but I much can better. control my emotions much better. I can think through when I'm gonna is that crazy? You it's, have more control, right? I have way more control. And we're going to adjust her today, show you what we're doing. And uh, we've only done her neck the whole time. Yes. Yep, mm -hmm. on your neck. So I move the adjustment and we're focusing on just her posture, her shoulders constantly. And um, you're going to see her adjustment now. Are you still icing too? She's still icing? Yep. Mm -hmm. Good. Go ahead and let your head turn to the left a little bit. Okay, lift your chin. Good. So we got to get this pain down in your neck. Six is way too high still. And that six tells me you're still not icing really properly enough. Um, it feels like you are, it sounds like you are, but we got to get that neck cold all the time because you're aggravating your neck somehow. There we go. Wow. Uh -huh, but I, I'm not like the, the first time I was screaming. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Still, but I'm still. Yeah. A six is still too high. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. She says her fibromyalgia is getting better, and um, she's feeling better. She's sleeping better, um, walking better. Um, just again having trouble with a little of the nuances of my teachings. So we're gonna move her up to the uh, atlas. I think she's better now than she's been since she started with me, and so uh, she's ready for the atlas adjustment. I'll let you guys watch. It is a little different. Like I said, it's up high here. It's right on your brainstem. It'll be a little louder than you used to. Okay, we have this. We have this. Good. Wow! I didn't move at all, guys. So I'm going to take a little more slack out of this one. She's definitely tight, doesn't want to let me do it. Okay, just relax a little. There we go. Wow. <laughs> what happened to that one? 
I thought that, that one is a six. That's mm -hmm. six, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, her atlas is very tight. I'm gonna do the right side one more time, guys. And so I took a little more rotation out of the last one. I'm gonna see if a little added rotation will help on this one. See, part of the reason, guys, it's hard to adjust. She is hard to get in the right position because she's a fighter. She may be small, but she's got a lot of fight in her. Let's go in. Good. Good. You're doing fine. There we go. Woo wee! I mean, and probably a, yeah, a, a six. More six, so, right? Six and a 6.5. Yeah, yeah, I think so, it went up too. Mm -hmm. Why the big reaction though? Was it scary or, because 6.5 is not that painful for you. So why is, why did you I jump so much? I think scary. More scary? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, subconsciously guys, she is really scared of that because there's probably something really going on there. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we needed to do this and so she needs more of it. But uh, you can see I've been adjusting for over a month now mm -hmm. and she hasn't jumped like that since day one. <laughs> so there's something going on there. So the truth is in the adjustment.